This is the Yuji drawing tablet. I got it because I thought it would be really helpful for when I have to do work from home tasks. So today I want to review it, show you what it can do. So let's get into it. Basically the main purpose why I got this was before when I used to be in Zoom meetings or when I used to brainstorm or jot down any notes, I would use this. It's just a regular notebook, but to me, I filled this up so fast, I would hate writing on the back side of it because I didn't want my words to bleed through and all different things like that. So I would go through these all the time. And so my thought is, if I got this, this would just help remove a lot of this clutter. I'm not gonna be wasting so much paper and I can organize all my notes on this. And I'll show you in a little bit how I do that and just walk you through how I use it. Now this device is the UG S640W, but they also have a larger version of this drawing tablet if you're interested. But the thing that I strongly recommend is getting the one that says W at the end because that means it's wireless. So that way I don't have any cords running to my computer, to my tablet, but I can literally be sitting here drawing and it'll show up on my computer. So it's a lot more functional and just less cluttery in my opinion if you get the wireless one. Now you might be thinking, why didn't I just get an iPad? Had. And the reason is, is because iPads are really expensive and this is actually really affordable. So this is just a cheaper alternative to an iPad, but it allows me a lot of the same capabilities that I was looking for when it comes to note taking and drawing and all that stuff. It comes with your drawing tablet, your stylist, your charging cable, and this charging cable can also work as just a regular cable that you can still draw when this is attached to. So if your battery ever dies, you can still draw and use your tablet. It's not like you have to just go charge it and then wait till it's recharged to be able to use it. Nope, you can use it while it's being charged. So that's kind of nice in my opinion. And then if you were wondering how long the battery life is on this, it's 10 hours of use. And then the cool thing about this stylus is there's no batteries needed for it. So this is the only thing that needs to be charging. Your stylus doesn't need any batteries. It will also come with extra nibs. And basically what these are, are the point of your stylus here. If you, if this is getting dull and you need to replace it, there is this metal piece, which is the nib extractor, which is how you remove your nibs and replace them. And then it also has this little adapter here, which is your Android adapter. Here's my MacBook adapter. And then also here's the wireless receiver. Pairing this with your computer is really simple as well. Basically all you have to do is go to Yuji's website and then download a driver, which is the software that's going to be able to help you customize your settings with your Yuji. To start using your tablet, you're gonna wanna turn the power button on right here at the top. You're gonna press and hold that to turn it on. And the light will come on once you know that you're getting power to it and it'll be flashing until you pair it to your computer. And then it'll show up here, your settings of how you can customize your pen. Basically right now, it has your top button here or the down key and then your up key, what you program them to do. Right now I have it set to pen and eraser, so it'll toggle between the pen and the eraser. And then also uh, the other key, I have it to right click. That's just my personal preference, but you have a whole list of different things that you can control and run different applications or do different keyboard settings. So you can change it to be whatever you want. So that's the pen shortcuts. And you can also come over here to the pen pressure settings. Now this will let you know how firmly you're pressing and you can change the adjustment to what's comfortable to you. You. And if the harder I press, the more thick my line's gonna be. If I press lightly, it's gonna look very little like this. Those are the pen settings, but you can also change the drawing tablet, the space on your tablet of where you want it to draw and what part of the screen it's going to take up. You can set that here. Now I wanna show you where you can actually take notes and how I do that when I'm in a meeting. The software I'm using right now is Microsoft OneNote. It's just on regular drawing. And then like I said before, I can just toggle between the eraser button here erase. So as you can see, there's a lot of capabilities with OneNote to be able to write notes and highlight and draw and write everything. But actually using this UG tablet is really simple and easy to do. It's nice that I can put my hand on the pad and it's not going to write or do anything. It's only going to draw if my stylus touches the pad. I really like the buttons too to be able to toggle between the eraser and the pen tool really quickly. You can just draw different ideas and say I didn't want this idea here anymore, which you can click on this lasso tool and say, okay, this whole section right here, 
I want to move that down a little bit. That's going to actually be for the recipe section right there. I can erase the arrow if I don't like that arrow, redraw it this way. It's really easy that I can just kind of change and manipulate things versus when you're handwriting on an actual piece of paper, it takes you a while to erase, it takes you a while to move stuff around, change stuff, and you don't have the ability to say I wanted to actually type something next to here like... And you can still highlight and do different things on your text, so now it's like, okay, the B-roll shot list, that's important to know. Also use the pre-made buttons if I wanted to zoom in on a certain thing. I can. If I wanted to zoom out, I can. So I hope you were able to get a glimpse of some of the capabilities that this is able to do and how you're able to use it. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's going to help my note taking when I'm at work, when I have to jot down ideas, and also when I have to brainstorm something like this. So there it is. That's the UG tablet. Overall, I'm really pleased with it. I still need to get more experience with using it and writing with it and just getting familiar with it, but I think over time I'll become really comfortable with it. So I'm really pleased with it. It's really affordable. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. I'll catch you on another one.